All right, I'm really curious about how something like this speaker works exactly. Now, I know this membrane here must be doing the vibrating that's producing the sound in the speaker, but how does it vibrate and how does the speaker work in general? To answer this question, I'm gonna attempt to dissect the speaker. And before I do that, I just wanna point out a few other things about this particular speaker. These are where the audio input goes. So we can put two wires here, connecting to here to an uh, uh, eighth inch jack or auxiliary cable and plug in our device and this speaker I tested earlier will will play music and connected to that I see these wires in here that seem to be going through the membrane all right and then I have this thing on the back and otherwise that's pretty much it all right so I'm going to start just by cutting into the membrane the speaker membrane to find out what's inside there and I'm basically going to try to remove the entire membrane. Okay, there we go. So the membrane is removed, at least around the edges. It seems to be connected to something here in the center. So I want to find out what that is. You also can see that those wires that connect to where the audio input comes are going through the membrane. And it looks like kind of towards that center point. So now I'm going to pull the membrane off completely. And I'm gonna remove this little piece of foil here. So just a little metal piece of foil in the center there. There's the little piece of foil. And I see underneath that piece of foil, almost a second membrane here that I'm gonna call a spider. It's a tan colored membrane and it surrounds something uh, right at the center of the primary membrane there. So if I can just remove these things a little bit further, just cut through those wires that were coming into the center here. And I'm now going to remove this spider, the, the tan colored piece here. Let's see what's in here. So somehow the membrane is connected to the foil piece that was connected to the spider and I want to get rid of that spider. Let's see what's underneath. So a little bit more challenging than I had expected, but we'll get there. All right, so I'm now gonna pull back the spider here. And it's interesting, what I see on the other side of the spider is a coil of what looks to be copper metal. So there's this coil on the inside of the spider here, wrapped around a little cardboard piece. And that seems like it might be important. And then, Further down in the center, right here, we have what, a, what seems to be a magnet. So as I put my screwdriver against the, this part on the bottom, the, screw, the screwdriver is being attracted to it. It's, it's magnetic. So to review what I found in dissecting the speaker, in the reverse direction. At the very center and the bottom of the speaker, there's a, there's a magnet there. Then surrounding the magnet is this spider secondary membrane. Connected to that membrane, there's a coil of copper wire. Then that was all hidden underneath this central piece of foil, which was connected to the outer membrane that we think is doing the vibrating and creating the sound.